Hello and welcome. Great to have your company here on Calakine TV. I'm Holly Shields and you're watching the buzzing trends. Are you hunting for ASX blue chip blue chip stocks, I should say? Well, if you are, we've got some that'll be right up your alley. But first, for the unfamiliar, blue chip stocks are considered to be one of the highest quality stocks you can get your hands on in the market. They have robust balance sheets, capable management and well-established businesses with consistent cash flows. Blue chips have historically pipped the benchmark index in terms of returns, and since they provide good returns with lower risks, investors include these stocks in their portfolio. Well, the first blue chip we have for you today is CSL, which operates in the healthcare sector and is engaged in the development, research, manufacturing, and marketing of cell culture media, human plasma fractions, and pharmaceutical as well as diagnostic products. The biotech company comprises the CSL, Bering and Sequius businesses. Looking at its stock performance now, it's delivered a negative year-to-date return of over 11%. And although in the past five years the stock rose over 132%, before the pandemic, CSL shares were known for their high growth and defensive qualities. The company's share price has a healthy track record of outperforming the benchmark index which of course attracted investors. In February of 2020, its shares hit an all-time high of $342.75 before losing more than 20% within a month. However, the outlook seems to have changed as of now with a number of brokers having weighed in on its share price. On valuation grounds, CSL is the third largest company on the ASX with a market cap of roughly $125 billion. Looking at its recent announcements, CSL seems to be set for growth once the pandemic challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic on plasma collections ease. Its prospects look strong amid robust demand for the company's immunoglobins and vaccines. CSL also recently announced the proposed acquisition of Vifa Pharma, which is expected to boost its offering in another lucrative market. And opposed to Vifa's acquisition, the company had announced a net profit after tax guidance in approximate range between 2.15 to 2.25 billion US dollars. And then the next blue chip stock we've got our eye on today is Resmit, the medical device manufacturing company. It currently has a focus on the growing sleep treatment market. And looking at its stock performance, it's delivered a negative year-to-day return of over 9%. Although in the past five years, the stock rose over 258%. ResMed has been a very strong performer over the last decade, generating massive returns for investors. The good news here is that the next decade looks positive as well. This is thanks to ResMed's world-class products, significant market opportunity and the growing prevalence of sleep disorders. According to the company's management, there are more than 1 billion, that's right, 1 billion people across the world who are suffering from sleep apnea. Still, many more are undiagnosed. This opens a range of market opportunities for the company going forward. And ResMed as well has recently led to the development of its new CPAP device, or CPAP, AirSense 11. The device has done good for itself in the recent past, and as well as that, one of the company's largest rivals, Philips, is currently dealing with a significant product recall of 5.2 million CPAP devices. So ResMed is definitely one to watch out for. Well, that is all for now on the buzzing trends, but join us next time only on Calkine TV. I'm Holly Shields, signing off.